This is question 17 in a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're asked to rationalise the denominator of 6 over the square root of 5. Now what this term means, rationalise the denominator, is it means to get rid of the square root in the denominator of the fraction without changing the value of the fraction. So the way in which we're going to do this is we're going to take 6 over root 5 and we are going to multiply this by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. So just taking the denominator and multiplying it by a fraction which consists of that denominator over, um, so this value here, the square root of 5 over itself. Now, <clears throat> This means that essentially what I'm doing is I'm multiplying by 1. And by doing that, the value of that fraction is not going to change. However, what this does when I do this is it rationalizes the denominator for me. It may, it gets rid of that square root 5 on the bottom. So we get 6 root 5 on the top, 6 multiplied by root 5. And then root 5 multiplied by root 5 will give me root 25. Then just tidying this up, 6 root 5 over the square root of 25, which is just 5. So uh, denominator rationalized, I've made that number on the on the bottom of the fraction uh, a whole number. Okay, part B. We're asked to expand and simplify 2 plus root 10. Um, brackets five uh, root 5 plus root 20. So what we've been asked to do here is expand and simplify double brackets. Uh, so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a grid. So I'm just going to draw out a grid. And I'm going to multiply 2 uh, plus root 10. Plus root 10. And I'm going to multiply that by root 5 plus root 20. Now multiplying these together, 2 times by root 5 will give me 2 root 5. Root 5 multiplied by positive root 10 will give me positive root 50. Uh, positive root 20 multiplied by 2 will give me positive 2 root 20 and then positive root 20 multiplied by positive root 10 will give me positive root 200. So that's the expanding part done and I'm just going to write this out in a line. So I've got 2 root 5 plus root 50 plus 2 root 20 plus the square root of 200. Now that's the expanding part done. The second part I need to simplify. And to do that, I need to look at each of these, um, each of these roots. And what I'm looking for is, are there any square numbers which are factors of the uh, values of the um, of these square roots. So, does 50 have any square numbers which are factors? Does 20 have any square numbers which are factors? Does 200 have any square numbers which are factors? Okay. So, let's just write down our square numbers here: 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. That'll do us for now. Um, <clears throat> so with this first one, 2 root 5, I can't really do anything with that, so that's going to stay as it is for now. But what I can see with root 50 is we could write root 50. We could write root 50, and I'm just going to scroll down a bit. We could write root 50 as the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 2, which I could then go on to say that this is 5 times by root 2, or just 5 root 2. 
So let's rewrite the square root of 50 using a simplified, ver a simplified version, 5 root 2. Now I'm going to take a look at 2 root 20. Okay, so I'm just going to do this down here as well. So 2 root 20. Now 2 root 20, this root 20 part, the root 20 has a factor which is a square number. So I can say that this is actually 2 multiplied by the square root of 4, our square number which is a factor of 20, multiplied by, well, square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 5 will give me that 20. So, rewriting this, 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by the square root of 5, or we could just say that this is 4 root 5. So we've got 2 root 5 plus 5 root 2 plus 4 root 5. And now this last one, the square root of 200. Um, well, the square root of 200, again, I'm just going to scroll down a bit further. Um, the square root of 200, again, that has got a square number, which is a fact, uh, has got a factor, which is a square number. What I could say is that this is the same as um, the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 100. So, square root of 100 is 10. So I could actually say that this is the same as 10 root 2. Now the final thing to do is to just tidy this up a little bit. And what I can see here is that I have got um, this 5 root 2 and 10 plus 10 root 2. So that is going to give me um, positive 15 root 2. And then if I look here, I've got 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5. And adding those together, 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5 will give me a total of 6 root 5. So my final answer here is going to be 6 root 5 plus 15 root 2.